the Tory party appears to be in turmoil, as one of Boris Johnson's own MPs has savaged the new education secretary in a bitter swipe. Yesterday evening, it was announced that Michelle Donnellan had been appointed Secretary of State for Education. Responding to the announcement on Twitter, Conservative MP for Telford Lucy Allen replied. Seriously. Ms. Donnellan's appointment came after Rishi Sunak resigned as Chancellor of the Exchequer yesterday evening. Former Education Secretary, Nadham Zahawi, was appointed to the position of Chancellor, leaving a gap in the Education Department which was filled by Ms. Donnellan. She previously served as University's Minister. Mr. Sunak's resignation letter told Prime Minister Boris Johnson that the public rightly expects the government to be conducted properly, competently and seriously. He added. I believe these standards are worth fighting for, and that is why I am resigning. The former Chancellor warned the Prime Minister that the UK cannot continue like this. His resignation came just minutes after the resignation of Health Secretary Sajid Javid, who announced he would be stepping down at around 6 p.m. yesterday. Announcing his decision, Mr Javid said he could no longer, in good conscience, continue serving in this government. He said Mr Johnson's tone and values reflect on your colleagues, your party and ultimately the country. Mr Javid added, it is clear to me that this situation will not change under your leadership and you have therefore lost my confidence too. Several junior ministers, along with Solicitor General Alex Chalk, also quit their posts yesterday. Mr Javid was replaced by Steve Barclay. Their resignations came amid allegations surrounding Deputy Chief Whip Chris Pincher, with Downing Street, confirming that it knew about 2019 allegations of sexual misconduct leveled against Chris Pincher. Mr Johnson had previously denied knowing about the allegations. But speaking yesterday about the decision to hire Mr Pincher, the Prime Minister said. Yes, I think it was a mistake and I apologize for it. In hindsight, it was the wrong thing to do. Mr. Johnson is alleged to have referred to the Tamworth MP as Pincher by name, Pincher by nature. When asked whether or not he made the joke, Mr. Johnson responded. What I can tell you is that, when I look at the background of this and why I regret it so much, is that about three years ago there was a complaint about Chris Pincher in the Foreign Office. He added. The complaint was cleared up, he apologized, it was raised with me, orally I was briefed on what had happened, and, if I had my time again, I would think back on it and recognize that he wasn't going to learn any lesson and he wasn't going to change. After allegations about Mr. Pincher emerged, the Prime Minister's official spokesperson said. The PM was not aware of any specific allegations. In the absence of any formal complaint, it was not appropriate to stop an appointment on the basis of unsubstantiated allegations. Commenting on the above issue, someone said. This is a fight between Brexit and Remainer MPs, the backstabbers will now declare their hand, but will be defeated. The majority stands with Boris as do the people. Try as they will we will have no Remainer PM. How about you? What do you think about the above issue? Let us know what you think in the comment section and let's talk. If you find the video good, please don't regret one like and share them. Goodbye and see you in the next videos, thank you.